Question number 26. Consider all three digit numbers without repetition of digits obtained using three non-zero digits which are multiples of three. Let S be their sum. Which of the following is or are correct? Statement 1. S is always divisible by 74. Statement 2. S is always divisible by 9. Here, consider all three digit numbers without repetition of digits obtained using three non-zero digits three non-zero digits which are multiples of three there are ten digits zero one two three four five six seven eight nine here we need three digits three non-zero digits so we can remove this zero which are multiples of 3. 3 is multiple of 3. 6 is multiple of 3. 9 is multiple of 3. Using these 3 digits, how many numbers are possible? We can arrange these 3 digits in 3 factorial ways. 3 factorial equal to 3 into 2 into 1. 6 numbers are possible. Which are those 6 numbers? 369 first number then 396 639 693 936 then 963 sum of all those numbers is yes it is sum all these numbers s yes, equal to 3 plus 6, 9, 9 plus 9, 18, 18 plus 18, 36. Again, 36 plus 3, 39, 39. 3, 9, 9, 6 is the sum of all these numbers. Now, see the first statement. S is always divisible by 74. 3, 9, 9, 6 divided by 74. Here, 574 sir, 370, then 474 sir, 296. So, S equal to 3996 is always divisible by 74. Statement 1 is correct. Then statement 2, S is always divisible by 9. What is the divisibility test for 9? Sum of the digits should be divisible by 9. 3 plus 9 plus 9 plus 6 equal to 27. 27 is exactly divisible by 9. 3 9s are 27. Therefore, this is also divisible by 9. So we can say S is always divisible by 9. Second statement also true. Therefore, the correct answer is Option C, both statement 1 and 2 are correct.